On this video, we are making this basket weave with large squares. It works up quite fast, especially if you use chunky yarn. It's great for many different types of uses. So let's see how it goes. Each block is 8 stitches wide. So we start so that we need to chain in multiples of 8, 8 for each, and then plus 4 at the end. I'm going to show it using a sample that's this width, with three blocks. So that means that I need to chain 3 times 8 plus 4, which is 28. So chaining 28. Here's my chain 28, but your chain needs to be as wide as the item you want to make, but in multiples of 8 plus the 4. The entire basket weave is worked in trebles. Trebles using the American term, and it's a double treble if you are using British crochet terms. We need two yarn overs. And the first row is just a base row with just one treble in every chain. So two yarn overs, and then get the fifth stitch from the hook. One, two, three, four, fifth. And that's where the first treble goes to. And with trebles, always a yarn over, and through two loops at the time. And then continue one treble into each chain. And so on. Until the end, no matter how long your chain is. When you are at the end of the row, chain three. And turn. And now we're starting the basket weave, and it works so that we have blocks of front post trebles and back post trebles. You can start with either, but I'm starting here with the front posts. And it always starts with the second one, not the first one. Two yarn overs. And then we insert the hook under the post we have in front of us. So like that there. And then you take the yarn and pull it through and continue normally to finish off the treble. Again, two yarn overs. And write the next one again under it and the treble. And counting the chains in the beginning, we need eight. So now we have three, so you need five more. So make five exactly like this. Here, this is what it looks like from the front, and this is what it looks like in the back. And then we continue with eight back post trebles. Again, first two yarn overs, and then instead of going under the post from the front, we go from the back. So hook behind there without dropping the yarn overs, and from the back to the front, and back again, like that. And then continue to finish the treble. And the next one just the same, two yarn overs, and then the hook round the post from the back. Yarn over and the treble. So 
So we can see that it's starting to form this here sort of a ridge in the front. So now we've got two of those and then make six more. Here we are. You need to make sure that you don't skip any, that you have a stitch in each of the posts. And then again, like the start of the row, so we're going back to crocheting front posts. Two yarn overs and round the post from the front. And all the rest of the row for this here sample. Like the same way. So then continue like this. If you just have a small sample, then I have only six more to do. But if you have a long piece, so then you switch around always after eight trebles. Here, with the very last one, which is just the chain loop, you can't really go properly around it, but you make the treble into it. Then chain three. We always chain three here. Although normally you would chain four for the height of a treble, but these stitches are a bit shorter because we go round the posts of the previous row. Then turn. And now we need to get a stitch that looks the same. So the front and back posts look opposites. So here now we need back posts so that there's this here ridge of uh, stitches coming up and again you don't do anything with the first one but we go round the back of the second post and the next one I'm crocheting quite loose here my hook is a bit large for the yarn, but I thought it's easier to see this way. It's actually a five millimeter hook and the yarn is double knitting. And then again, six more like this until we come to where the stitches change there. And then here we continue with front posts to get the same look as here. So round the front. all of these front posts. And then when you get to here, then you again switch to the back posts. So I'll finish this row off now. Here's that row done. And we continue like this one more, once more back and forth because we will need four of these higher ridges to get them properly square shaped. So again, chain three and turn and we continue to make the rows so that it looks the same as the stitch on the previous rows. So that one is a front post. So front posts here back posts here, and then again front posts. So finish this row as well as then the next one. And after this row and the next, we switch where the front and back posts go. This is now one repeat of the squares finished. And you will always then need to count that you have four of these ridges that go this way. And on the next row now we're switching these around. Chain three and turn. And now this type of stitch comes from the front posts. So now we start with the back posts here. And so on.
So back posts until here, and then when we come to this here part, then we change to making front posts. That's eight of those, counting the chains, and uh, then chains over to the front posts here. like this. So eight front posts and then this here again you switch to back posts to get it looking like this here. And that's how you continue. Always four rows like that, back and forth twice, and then you swap to the other kind. And that's what creates the basket weave. Also check out the video I'm linking here to another stitch that alternates back and front posts. It's ribbing. Thank you for watching. Until next time.